Thank you, sir. I move to strike the last word. recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There have been uh, quite a few good arguments made, excellent arguments for the reason that this amendment should pass. Uh, Justice Lewis Brandeis is one of my favorite justices, and he said the laboratories of democracy are the states. And indeed, 16 states, mostly through, if not entirely through, referenda, have determined that they try to find out whether medical marijuana laws would work. The federal government should not be infringing on what the states have determined and their citizens have determined in the most direct form of democracy that this nation knows, state referenda. And the federal government has been using its resources that could be used in a better ways to police the jurisdictions that have voted it in. That's what this amendment does, is it says there will not be any additional spending of federal monies to try to thwart the will of the people of the states on issues in which they have voted. This is the most basic democracy that we could be talking about. You talk about the Founding Fathers, this is the people who give us power. They have voted in their states to make it the law, and the federal government has taken its heavy hand and tried to come in there and have come in there and prosecuted individuals. It's for the state to prosecute those individuals if they want. As the gentleman from California, Mr. Schiff, has pointed out, federal priorities have to be made to meet the resources available. The monies that they're spending now on, in these states could be spent on border traffic, could be spent on policing against heroin and cocaine, which cause people, when they get hooked, to commit violent crimes to get their money to buy their drugs. That's never been known to be the case with marijuana and is not the case with marijuana. That's where our priorities for law enforcement should go and prosecution should go, is crack and cocaine and heroin. And they're not being used there. So this is a common sense, basic de democratic proposal to tell our federal government that has gone astray to not use its resources on, against the people of this country made this determination. Now, as far as some of the other statements that have been made, I think the public who listens knows that this is not about legalization. This is not about 14-year-olds or 15-year-olds or 18-year-olds. It's about states, democracy, doctors, and people who have cancer, glaucoma, AIDS, MS, whatever. Montel Williams has testified how it's helped him with his illness. I had a Navy SEAL friend who died of cancer. There is no question but that marijuana, which he smoked, helped him with his appetite when he wasn't eating, and his pancreatic cancer took him from 215 pounds to 115. And his grandmother said, it's the only thing that makes Oral laugh, and it's the only thing that makes Oral eat. And when he was dying, my friend, I wanted him to have whatever it could have to make his illness less damaging to him and less difficult to deal with. So I rise here and to assure people that it won't affect your states, it'll just be those states where it's been voted in. It will save resources and be able to give our government the proper direction to use its resources to protect us against heroin, crack, and cocaine. I yield back the remainder of my General time. Gentlemen, yields back. Who seeks time?